is the gap just going to widen between Amazon and everybody else? I think what will happen and what we've seen already is that others will copy. So Walmart have Sparky, which is their version. And Zalando, they haven't given it a name, but they have within their app, it's a chat GPT powered AI assistant. So you can put in, you know, I've got a wedding in Greece in July. What should I wear? It doesn't have that memory function there yet, which Rufus does. I think that brands will just try and play catch up and launch their own version. I know for Amazon, they've said that this year they think that Rufus will deliver $700 million in profit for them. So obviously it's huge revenue opportunity for them. And the memory bit is interesting because if we think about the in AI platform experiences like Plexi or ChatGPT, I think that's where retargeting is something that I think it's not an option right now. Whereas in app for Amazon with the likes of Rufus, like that retargeting will become so essential for them for driving those repeat purchases. I and mean, they've got what, like 300 million customers. They've got so much data and they've been around for over 20 years. So I think that maybe the worry is that them having that first mover advantage, maybe it is going to just potentially steal more market share in a short space of time whilst everyone is still trying to like sort of scramble around well as you said as well they've got 300 million customers they've got a lot more data than everybody else too so for those smaller smbs and brands that are maybe trying to imitate what amazon's doing with its ai is that something that's really feasible if you're a slightly smaller organization (laughs) 